morning to everyone present here. We are from English department. My name is A. Vishwesh. My name is D. Guru Baran. My name is D. Achilles. We are going to explain about the poem, The Spider and the Fly. The Spider and the Fly is a poem written by Mary Botham Harvard. This poem tells the story of cunning spider who ensnares the fly through the use of seduction and flattering words. The spider does his best to intercise the fly into its parlor with the promise of pretty things to the sea. The fly refuses and says it will never visit because it knows whoever goes there is never seen again. It, the spider tries a different tactic, offering the fly a pretty and comfortable place to sleep. The spider asks what it can do to prove its motives all pure, offering lovely foods to the fly. But once again, the fly refuses and says it has heard about the spider's pantry. The spider tries to flatter the fly by pricing its appearance. The spider knows it has won and begins preparation to feast on the fly. After setting a clever trap, it again appears to the fly's variety, fly's variety and, inv- and the pricing its beauty compared to the spider's less appealing appearance. The fly comes by to hear more blandishment about its beauty. And the spider take the fly into its parlor from which it never emerged. We are going to enact the poem about spider and the fly through the dialogue form. Hi my dear fly, how are you? Yes yeah, spider, I am good. How many days I am calling you to come to my parlor? Will you come to my parlor today? Oh no no, I will not come into your house. If you come to my house, I will show a prettiest little room in my house. And you may have been seen many curious things in my house. I will not because I know that those who go through the winding stairs, they will never come out. Oh no, my dear little fly, what you thought about me? That was wrong. Nothing will be happen. When you come into your house, you look, you are very tired. You go to my little bed and rest on. The little bed is very costly. It aids you to rest upon. Absolutely not. I will not rest upon your bed because I know that if anyone take rest upon your bed, they will never come out. I feel very guilty, my dear son. You are not accepting my gestures of friendship. What shall I do? I have within the pantry little good store with all nice things. Oh no, kind sir. I have heard this. What is in your pantry? I don't wish to see. Sweet creature, you are witty and wise. How handsome are your gracey wings. How brilliant are your eyes. I have a little looking glass upon my parlor shelf. If you will step in one moment here, you will behold yourself. Mm. I am very very happy that the silly fly tried to believe me. I know the silly fly come back again soon. So I like to weave a stubble web in the little corner and set my table to turn upon the fly. Hi dear spider, I am happy to come to your house. Welcome dear silly fly, I am happy to welcome you. You have the pure and silver wings. Your robes are green and purple. Your eyes are time and bright. I am delighted. Thank you, sir, for inviting me to your house. My dear little fly, you don't know about my cunning plan. I am very sorry. I am going to eat you right now. You deceived me. You were flattering words. Destroyed my life. What we learn from this poem, people should not allow themselves to be manipulated by others who prey on their vanity. Thank you.